So iOS 17 has just officially came out. So let's go and do a comparison between iOS 17 on the iPhone 11 and iOS 16 and see how they kind of compare in the speed department. Now iOS 17 is on the left, iOS 16 is on the right. So let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, kind of the same thing. Music, three, two, one. Okay, a few different things here. Not really too sure what was going on. I don't know why this verification thing keeps coming up. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's do their app store. Three, two, I don't know why this keeps happening. Three, two, one. Okay, this one says cannot connect even though we literally have Wi-Fi on this one. I don't know what's going on with both of these. It's very, very strange. Photos, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing, not a big difference. Camera, three, two, one. Okay, kind of the same thing too. Let's go and take a photo, three, two, one. Probably roughly around the same thing. Let's go and open up mail, three, two, one. I think iOS 16 was actually a little bit faster there. Getting into settings, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Let's go and click okay, let's hop out of here. Okay, let's go and get into some of these other applications. And we have a lot of them, so let's just kind of get into it as fast as we can. Temple run two, three, two, one. Now hopefully there's no annoying pop-ups. They happen all the time and it's very frustrating sometimes. Of course this happens. So even here, I'm not even too sure if one would have been faster than the other one. I think they probably would have been roughly around the same speed, to be honest. Let's go and hop out of this one. Netflix, three, two, one. Okay, this one again has this little sign in error. Fruit Ninja, which I don't have. Stack, three, two, one. Okay, looks like the iPhone 15, iPhone iOS 17 was probably slightly faster. We did have two different little pop-ups that happened on both. So we're going to do some gaming and let's see what's going on here. And it's probably going to be roughly around the same thing. Not that big of a difference. Hopping out of these two. Let's go and get into Facebook. Three, two, one. Okay. Getting a little like not available page, a little error. Let's try something like Quizlet, which is not available here on either one of them, which is very strange. Let's go and try Snake vs. Blocks. Three, two, one. Okay, roughly around the same thing, getting into some actual gaming. And you can see that on iOS 16, it looked to be a little bit glitchier, which is very weird. Not really too sure. Okay, now the iPhone 11 on iOS 17 was glitching up a little bit too. So probably not that big of a difference there, to be honest. And we could try a different one, but I don't even think we have. We can try Thank You, 3, 2, 1. This game very rarely has any pop-ups, which is really nice. And you can even see on iOS 17, it's looking to me that iOS 17, more times than not, has probably been more consistently faster then I was uh, 16, which is very interesting. So I would probably say that between both, on an iPhone 11 on iOS 16.6.1, I think is the latest version, versus iOS 17, iOS 17 is looking to be slightly, ever so slightly faster, at least for on the iPhone 11. It could change and it can vary from one iPhone to the other, but so far from what I'm seeing, you're actually getting at least a little bit, if, this, if not the same performance, then a little bit faster, but I would still probably recommend staying on iOS 16 for the time being but you, it looks like you're kind of getting a faster performing phone on iOS 17 than on iOS 16. So I guess we'll wait and see what happens, but that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.